been watching The Mandalorian on Disney Plus and I'm kind of obsessed with the child. You know, Baby Yoda. Seriously, he's the cutest little thing ever. So today, we're going to try to make our own Baby Yoda using felt. Not sure how this is going to turn out, but we're going to try. I've got an olive green felt, a sandstone, I picked up some faux fur for trim, and large buttons for eyes. These might look a little weird, but it's the closest thing I could find, so let's see how it goes. I also picked up some matching thread, and I'm using my sewing machine. However, this can be sewn by hand. Using a piece of paper, let's sketch out a large oval type shape. I'm thinking this will be the head. Well, I mean, I know this is gonna be the head. Hopefully it's the head because, you know, there might be a little bit of trial and error here, but we're gonna see what happens. Okay, so we have like a rounded oval-like shape for the head. Cut it out to make a pattern for his little face and the back of his head. Cut a long rectangle that's gonna go around the head, an ear, arm, body, leg, and a foot. Now, let's cut them all out of felt. Place the pattern on the felt, pin it in place if needed, carefully cut around it to make two ovals for the head. I was also able to cut out two arms on that same piece of felt. On my second sheet of felt, I got four ears and two arms. For number three, two pieces for the body. Sheet number four, we got the other two pieces for the head. And for our fifth, piece of felt we got four pieces for the leg and four pieces for the feet so in all this took five pieces of felt they were 44 cents each so that was two dollars and twenty cents take the two large rectangles stack them on top of each other good side to good side since this is felt it doesn't really matter so a straight line going across the short end I'm using a sewing machine, but this can be sewn by hand. Once connected, sew two more straight lines on the sides, then a couple of lines going across. It created a nice little grid right there. Now I'm just gonna push the felt that is in between each of the little squares to try to get it to bevel out a little. Okay, we got some soft little bumpy details going on there. In an effort to make them more defined, I cut a strip of leftover felt. This is just a little scrap, and I'm going to roll it, then glue it right behind the indention. I'm hoping this will help it keep its shape when everything is all stuffed. This is what it looks like on the top, and there it is underneath. Take the oval, line up the center seam with this very slight point, then flip it over, lining up the edges. Sew a straight line from the top all the way down to the bottom, stopping right about here. Then sew along the other side, right up to the other end. Take the other piece cut out for the head and sew it onto the back. I'm threading a needle to hand stitch the back on. These are pretty tricky angles for me, and I just feel a little bit more comfortable using a needle and thread. Now that both sides are completely sewn, I'm gonna stitch just a little across this side, just right on the ends, leaving an opening in the center. I am hand stitching this so we can flip it inside out. Add pillow fluff until it starts to round out. I wanna make these just a little more pronounced. So I use a needle and thread to make little pits, making his head very lumpy. I may have gone overboard just a little, but nothing we can do about it now, so moving on. Take the felt we cut out for the ears. We should have four pieces. Sew a straight line around the edge, leaving the bottom end open. Turn it inside out. Hmm. I'm thinking that's not big enough. Let's try again. So I drew a larger pattern, cut out another set of ears, sew around the edge, turn it inside out, 
fold over the ends just a little, then fold over the top. Use pins to pin it onto the head. Use a needle and thread to stitch the ear in place. I take my time and go all the way around the ear. After attaching both ears, take the felt for the body, sew all the way around the edge, leaving an opening at the top. Turn it inside out, add the fluff, that looks about right. For the arms, take two pieces, lay them good side to good side. I'm using chalk to give me a line to follow. Sew on the line drawn, leaving a small opening. Make small cuts to release tension, turn it inside out. Okay, that's a little odd, but it might work. Add fluff, sew the opening closed to complete one of his arms. Hmm, lots of sewing this is. Okay, I better stop playing. <laughs> uh, let's do the other one. I use a blind stitch to close the openings so I can try to be as neat as possible and hide my stitches. Now we just need some legs. Take the pattern for the foot and sew all the way around. First, I draw a line to follow, then sew very slowly around the line. Make small cuts, pull the sides apart in the center, make a small cut so it can be turned inside out. Use a chopstick or the end of a paintbrush to get into all of those little tiny small spaces. Take two pieces for the leg, sew going around the curve, leaving the bottom open. Turn it inside out, Fill both of them with fluff. Take the opening in the leg and place it over the opening in the foot. Stitch it in place. Repeat to make two. Now that we've made all of the different parts, let's work on the face. I bought large buttons for his eyes. I could go with this one, it's nice and flat, or with this one. I kind of like this, even though it's kind of got like an insect kind of quality to it but I think it'll be cute. Using a needle and thread, sew on the eyes. Use the end of a paintbrush to go right between the eyes and just poke a little nose. You're just pushing the felt and that's the beauty of felt it will give with you a little. Roll a tight ball of fluff and put it right behind the nose. Use a needle and thread to stitch on a little mouth. I'm using a thread that matches because I just want a little indention. I don't want like a big black line. So the bottom of the head closed. Aw, he's kind of cute, I guess. <laughs> he definitely looks like a little alien. Take the body, fold over the top edge, place it under the head, and stitch it in place. I'm using a blind stitch to attach them, place the arms on the sides, attach the thread to the body, then we're gonna push the needle right through the top of the arm, then go back through and into the body. I ran the thread from one shoulder to the other a couple of times and I pulled it tightly and tied on the end. And it's very snug so that the arms can be raised. Ha <laughs> ha, when he needs a hug or when he wants to use the force. Sew on the legs. To get the thread all the way across the legs, I had to come up through the tummy, giving him a little belly button. I am not sure if that is correct for this species, but now he has legs that are poseable. <laughs> Love it. I wonder if he can stand. I think we can balance him. <laughs> That's awesome! Okay, we might want to get him some clothes. Little naked baby running around here. Take a large piece of felt, lay him in the center, use chalk to mark his arms. I made two fairly large circles. Carefully, I cut them out. Let's see how they fit. Fold over the top of the collar, just like we did for our easy doll winter coat trim it. I trimmed a little off the bottom, remove it from the little plushie, 
fold over and hem the sides, hem the bottom, turn it over so the raw edge is facing down, take faux fur, place it underneath with the good side facing down. Place the felt about a half an inch from the edge, carefully flip the felt over without moving the placement, so a straight line going all the way across. I'm going to use a few pins to help hold it in place. Now we're ready to sew. Tuck the edge over, then sew a straight line. Trim the fur about two and a half inches up, then fold it over the edge of the felt and sew a straight line going all the way across. So that when we put it onto the plushie, it gives him a fur collar. Measure felt to fit around the cutouts with a little overlap. Cut two, sew fur onto one side. With the good side facing up, fold it in half, sew a straight line across the edge, turn it inside out, place it over one of the holes, and then bend the outside of the felt back so we get both raw edges lining up. Use a needle and thread to sew them together. We can add Velcro down the front to make a little coat. Completing our Baby Yoda inspired plushie. He just might be life size and I think it's really cool that he can stand on his own. Wait, he was standing a minute ago. There you go, yeah, he can stand on his own. The coat is removable so we can change it whenever we want. And his little arms and legs are posable. This is the perfect handmade gift for the Star Wars fan in your life. Given he doesn't look exactly like the child, we did take a few artistic liberties, but it was still a lot of fun to make one. Thank you for joining us while we made this plushie inspired by the child from the series The Mandalorian on Disney+. Plus. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. Don't forget to ring the bell and follow us on Instagram at MyFroggyStuff and the Frog Vlog. And we'll see you next time. Bye! And you're done. Happy crafting!